So we starting yeah, over. We're, we're oh, we start, oh, we starting over. We've been live. We've been live. So hey guys. Oh shit, we live. Uh, once again, my <laughs> oh name my is God. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all tell this is our first time? Oh okay. Oh, okay. oh so let's. We had to, okay, production. It's, well, it's well, not well, us. well, well. Shit, let's let's start it over, man. This is episode forty-eight. This is the yeah. end of the year sneaker podcast where we talk all things sneakers. Uh, some of our best guests. What else we talking today, y'all? Virgil. 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 Big topic. Yeah. Um, Travis. Travis. A lot of hot topics. A lot of good memories from some good guests this mm-hmm. year, right? For sure. Yep. Uh, and, and once again, my name is Philip. Uh, I, this is my third time saying it. Uh, hopefully, you get the picture. <laughs> yeah, boy, Steph here. It's your boy SC. Hey. No shoulders, man. Shoulder action. But uh, we missing our guy Bentley. Uh, he is at the concession stand at the Toyota Center, <laughs> eating popcorn. Watching I think he Lakers bought a Glizzy game. too. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> nah, but Billy took his mom to see LeBron. Can't be mad at that, man. Oh, going man, to never. see, going to see the one of the goats of the game. So we are about to get it rolling. Uh, first of all, amazing year with you guys. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Dealing with COVID. Dealing with all things. How y'all feel about the year? <coughs> Ooh, me. Oh, oh. Man, oh, I'm, I'm speaking I'm, of COVID. <laughs> 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 no, how'd I feel? I think it was an interesting year, especially yeah. shoe-wise. Sneaker-wise was interesting. Definitely. Um, the podcast was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It um, really was. We had a, a, We had a lot of great topics this year. For sure. I feel like. Never ran out of topics. That's a, That's a fact. Even yeah. when we had to squeeze two episodes in. Yeah. Never ran out. And the guests, I think we had like outside of just um, the sneakers, we had great stories. Like we've seen even this year and last year, we've had guests on here that have done like crazy things. Oh, for sure. Pod that, you know, we got to catch um, mm-hmm. going to the events that right. everybody had and just yeah. seeing their journey. I, up into the pod and then after the right pod. yeah and i think like looking back i think one of the guests that uh i might start it off one of the guests that was talking about manifesting things mm-hmm. oh yeah making it happen and saying i want to work here it's going to happen because i know it's going to happen Kamiski. oh my oh, gosh man. shout out kimmy yeah we for miss sure, you kimmy yeah. she's out in new york if y'all didn't know she got that that job she was talking about on the pod right wow when we were at the other studio yeah. um working with adidas so that's pretty that's awesome amazing that's amazing and thanks for the artwork Kamiski. yes uh thanks for the artwork uh travel 327 yeah uh who else Dope. who else who else put us some artwork we had some artwork from somebody else too i think was that, the, so. that was the only two travel <laughs> and kim I think so. Okay. We feel may have had some few fly through here though. Yeah, yeah. In the next year, feel free to send us some stuff. We'll yeah. post it on here. Let you guys sell yeah. from from us. You know, yeah. let let the viewers know where they can purchase all the artwork and For sure and all that. Um, let's jump right into it. Yes, sir. Biggest question: rounding out the year, sneaker of the year. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been talking about it for maybe the last three or four episodes i think we all kind of agree already on the sneaker of the year yeah i think so uh the i mom in year three um uh, oh, I mean, Bola, what I didn't even see. Bola I, would I, I, pull Bola, up in Bola, a Bola, Bola, I, I knew, man. A yeah. smart I knew man. what it was yeah yeah so i said was this your first time putting them on yeah. Yeah. I thought really? so. Really? Yeah. What? You're going to be like, they're going to be beaters now. Watch. Yeah, I love them. I mean, they're so comfortable. The yeah. whole entire, inside. Yeah, yeah. It's plush. Like yeah. it's an actual like plush sneaker. And then the, the story. The story behind mm-hmm. it. And just like, I mean, everything with the sneaker. Yeah. From the design to the story to the feel. No, I, you can't. Shout out to it. I'm on my year. Yes. No, for sure. Um, so we it's a consensus that the I Mom in Year Three is the sneaker of the year, right? Yeah. So let's talk about the other sneakers that came out this year as the ice uh drains down, uh, comes down. <laughs> <laughs> but um let's talk about the other sneakers. Um so what would you guys say 
rounded out your top five sneakers since we already have our consensus number one. What was the top five sneakers for you guys? I'm hard on the top five. That's that's tough. I'm gonna go. If you tapping in, put it on put it on the um on our IG, put it on YouTube and, and let us see your top five sneakers from this year so we can we can see and we wanna interact with you guys. I'm gonna say I think we can see I'm on my year. Okay. Threes. I like the dunks from my mama year. I mean mm-hmm. the social status dunks. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like both pair actually. I oh, wasn't yeah. too keen on the pink, but then when I see them in person, they nice. strawberry milks they 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 hit. Yeah, they nice. Yeah. Um. New Balance. Yeah. Ooh. Joe which, Fresh which, Goods. Okay. Joe, Joe Fresh Good, what's up, Shout man? Out. We appreciate you, man. Yes. Sent the whole pod sneakers, man. That was dope. Who else? What else? What else? What else? You had three right now. Well, yeah, you I'm at four. three. I'm at four. And then, let's see. What would be a, a sleeper sneaker that? You had a lot of Jordan ones come out this year. I wouldn't. I don't think any Jordans. Jo- no Jordan ones really. Caught my eye. Okay. Okay. This year, like to where I was okay. like, man, I gotta have those. Yeah. Let's see. The last one, I'm gonna go with the uh foam runner. Hey, hey, mm-hmm. I ain't mad at the you. Foam runner. Go with the foam runner for still. <sighs> Let oh me hear gosh, it. This is so hard. Ah. Uh, I mean. Well, obviously you got to go with the with the threes. I'm on your threes. Right. These dunks are a great one. Okay. Strawberry. Um. Yes, the strawberry. I'm. I wasn't so too keen on the chocolate milk. Okay. Um. Let's see what else. The okay, New Balance. Mm-hmm, um. Mm-hmm. The Salih, Salihi Bimbery. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Salehi. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got to have him in there. The Crocs and the New Balance. Yes. So he Ooh. killed those cro- like killed the Crocs. Crocs are mean. Um, let's see. What is that for? Yeah. What's my last one? It's tough. Think about what you've been copping lately. I know. I, ugh. Uh, honorable mention could be like the whole dunk. Nike yeah. dunk period. Nike dunk period. Okay. Making a huge I mean, comeback. any a majority of the collab mm-hmm. women's Jordan, the mm-hmm. um, oh. Lely May. Oh my God. Like, yeah. I mean, I oh think just God. across How the board, what they were doing yeah. with the women's sneaker, period. Oh, sure. um, yeah, y'all had gonna, a great year. Yeah. Amazing yeah. year. Yeah. That would probably be my, my number five. Um, So for me, of course, the I'm on my year three. Um, So me, I am a person that likes to go with the time. So the Yeezy 450 all black yeah. is probably one of my favorite shoes to wear right now. Um, the Yeezy boot, the the um, the um yellow one, um, it's not the oh, insulated one, yeah. it's the, the sulfur, the high top mm-hmm. one. Um, that joint is crazy to me. I, I just, I think it's so futuristic. Yeah. Um, I would go with um, off white. Um, was it off white? No, it wasn't off white. It was the um, the eighty five highs. I love that okay. shoe. Jordan one eighty five mm-hmm. highs, and then uh, for my last one, hmm, man, oh, what is yeah, it? The Yeezy uh, phone runner. Yeezy phone, phone runner. runner. Oh man, I gotta give a five A, B, and C because. Joe Fresh Good, of course, looked out for us when that was probably one of the yeah. hardest shoes to get, right? The hardest. And we just got an email and boom, we got the yes. kicks. Um, and then um Salehi Bimbury. Um Bim with uh, let me make sure I said Bimbury or oh, Bimbury. Okay. <laughs> my Croc bad my, my bad player. <laughs> the Crocs uh, are ridiculous. Crocs are crazy. The, the resale New Balance. was ridiculous too. Yeah, like <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I for mean, sure. <laughs> everything that he dropped this year. But Salehi what what gets me about his New Balance is his box. I mean, yeah. the the one the New Balance that I have is just pure artwork, you know, and that 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 blew me away. Like, it's it's amazing. I know that he said that he is in tap with like nature and all that good yeah. stuff. So, man, that New Balance is is dumb for sure. So, KC said his uh, five. <laughs> 
KC. KC hey. good. I need my money, KC. <laughs> uh, he going with the 85 high, okay. neutral gray. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my year three. Okay. The Cloud New Balance. Mm. Ooh, mm. Yeah, that was the a Bacon good one. Air Max 90s. Okay, uh, I, you lost me. And the I light. don't know, KC. I don't know about that bacon. one. Bacon. Yeah, he got the like bacon? nine pair of them. Yeah, like. <laughs> he ended up getting like nine pair of them. And then the Lightning Fours. The Lightning Fours. Like the yellow was a little off to me, but I actually like put them on. Yeah. Didn't go nowhere, mm. but put them on my feet. <laughs> them shoes are nasty. Yeah. Nasty. It's hard for me to put any Jordan 1s in my top five this yeah. year. Cause I, it just wasn't nothing was really hidden for me for Jordan for the one next year is going to be I think he's going to release more than 85 like the 85 mold so them Georgetown must haves ooh yeah and Georgetown's are a must have right. but other oh. than that like like we said like Jordan 1 didn't really do anything for me this year it did that's interesting because Jordan 1 is hot as, hot as it's ever been, you know? And we had a whole movement, which I think people picked up on listening to our show sneakily, of the whole Jordan 1 mid thing. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. You and, yeah, you and Bentley came through with the mids. Uh, who we had come on, crank up the mid conversation? We What's had, my man's uh, name? The, uh, tipping Point David. David. Oh, David. David, yeah. on and David and, came and, yeah. on. <laughs> Shout out to David. Shout out David. A lot he was of insight. Great guess. Great David. guess. Oh. And he opened up another uh, coffee yeah, shop. Yeah, another so they coffee have shop in, um, oh, Heights. in the Heights. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah, stop man. by there. Yeah, coffee is amazing. Give me a coffee, man. First sip. Um, right. <laughs> first sip. <laughs> but um, yeah, so so we had to join one mid thing where where people were actually starting to tap in more to join one mids. Uh, so Jordan one still had a big yeah, yeah. Had a, had a. I think it was just um, with Jordan. I mm -hmm. feel like they they did a lot of like color changes on the yeah. one, mm -hmm. but I feel like they focused a lot on the women's sneakers and their collabs. Oh, with for the sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know for sure. I mean? So like even through um, I mean, yeah, like twenty twenty one was the, the was the year of the woman for for yeah. sneakers. Like Whew. everything was geared toward women. Because what they say, women are the highest consumers yeah. of anything in this world. That's yeah. So you have to tap into that because you guys was buying the whole fit. Yeah. Y'all weren't just buying the sneakers like the us. Y'all was buying the whole fit. So I feel it. it was I think a, a lot of people were saying that the the women's team at Jordan um, should like really, you know, if there was an award like top team or whatever, they yeah. should get that award because they really they killed it this year. No, nah, fact, sure. literally killed it. I remember one episode we was having Bola. It was me, you, and Bentley, and we was like, "Where the hell is Steph at?" <laughs> Steph was at a event. Oh getting yeah, some sneakers, getting free having sneakers. a party, having a good time. I had time. to miss the pod because <laughs> what was that? The fourteens? Yeah, that yeah. late in yeah. days. Yeah. I had to go. I, I feel you. Go. I, I feel you. It's it. a woman's movement. You had to be no, there. You know, thanks, I had thanks. to pull up. So we had some controversy surrounding the Jordan One, also. Okay. Uh, this year, um, and we got kind of killed. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, we did. Talk about that a little bit, Phil. What 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 was it? I'm trying to think of what was it. The, uh, Real men. You know the what, cool uh, cool, cool guys. Oh, that that whole situation. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, at the beginning of the year. Uh, we started diving into Cool Kai and his his movement that he had, and a lot of us on the panel, I'll say, was like, "Oh, you know, yuck, you know, like how could he do such a thing, right?" No, no disrespect to no it. Disrespect we just, to we, him. No, it just wasn't our Steve. Yeah, right? and yeah, and we applauded sure. his hustle. Well, we know what he does, and um, we just was like, "Damn, the joy won such a classic silhouette." Hey, man, listen. Couple months later, brother changed my mind. Yeah, he's doing his thing. <laughs> he's doing his thing, I mean, he's man. killing it. He's I just, I'm still, because see, I wasn't on this pod. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just don't know. I, like, I still I wouldn't support, purchase them. Yeah, like, <laughs> I support not, the movement, hey. but I, it's still the same yeah. for me all around. It's not just him. Like, I, I just prefer. I think every, everybody who does it is kind of like. You could be a little more creative. Yeah. yeah. Like just but he does his thing. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a nice looking shoe. It is. Um, I saw that the Howard University uh, basketball coach mm -hmm. okay. wore them on the sideline. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's um, they look good. They look very yeah. good. I they know good. he has a lot of stuff with uh, 
fam you. Okay. So I like I like his hustle. I like what he's doing. Um, but to the people who is hating, I'm still not purchasing. <laughs> yeah, no, I I won't be. Hey, that was a big moment for is. us, uh, yeah. for real. Um, Kai even reached out to us in the DM. A couple of times, um, talking cool to dude. us. Yeah, super he cool dude, the show. man. Um, we uh, I haven't purchased a pair yet, but but I soon grab a pair just to support because I think they do. I love his colorways. I like how oh, he does sure. it. Yeah. I like how he does it. What he has all the colors community. that Jordan should do, he does. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For that, sure. That's what I'll, I'll give him that. Any yeah. any idea that I feel like Jordan Jordan Branch colorway should be doing, he's beat them to that already. Yeah. For sure, and that, that's super dope. I think he listens to his customers. Oh, I yeah. think he 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 plays with the colors, like you said. Um, the low tops look good. Yeah, when he play, you know, when he does his thing with the low tops. So shout out to Cool Kai. Uh, shout out to all of the people that was going through the whole thing when uh, Nike. Um, what, what did they do? They registered the the, the whole trademark, thing. Yeah, the trademark, trademark the, the thing, the silhouette. Yeah, right. The so uh, John Geiger, who liked a couple of posts, See, that uh, was we, we that seen was you, we one. seen you, Geiger. Yeah. Uh, Same thing. Was, was it John Geiger or Matt Geiger? I'm not John. 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 Yeah. yeah, Matt Geiger played for the Sixers <laughs> and, and the Miami Heat. <laughs> Switching it up. And he paid for the Miami <laughs> Heat. We went to sports. <laughs> shout out to Matt Geiger. Yeah, if you're shout watching. out, Matt. You used to have a good 15 <laughs> foot jump. I remember you helping my boy AI a couple times. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, that was that was real interesting, and then after that, our next biggest thing was, uh, I would say, the back and forth between B Green. <laughs> Come on, B Green. And what's, he, what's our, what's our, what's our J Stone and our guy J DJ J Stone? We need them I in the mean, live. Can somebody check? <laughs> are they in the I live? Mean, these guys was going back and forth. Be forward. green if oh, you are. We still need that battle. Be green if you are watching on this live. Man, tap in. We're going to put you in. <laughs> we want to talk to you real quick. Pull up yeah, on the screen. Sure, Pull up. Sure. But uh, they were going back and forth about who had the best episode, which we we thoroughly enjoyed. Um, Both of them were entertaining. and Very entertaining. They had a live. They went on IG Live. <laughs> and we're going back and forth about their sneakers. I had about 200 viewers too, just yeah, watching them yeah. back and forth. Oh, bro, I was locked in. I was <laughs> watching it oh, myself. Yeah. I was like, I had oh, popcorn and everything. <laughs> yeah, and they were they were tapped in. Uh, we were tapped in because they were just going back and forth about who had the best show. And um, man, they both of their shows was great. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, for um, sure. B Green, um, he had some some heartfelt stories. Man, yeah. I mean. Just I mean, letting us know how sneaker culture really helped him mm-hmm. when it comes to being a police officer and, yeah. and, and really connecting with the community mm-hmm. and really having something to talk about with, with you know, to diffuse situations. Yeah. People trust him now because yeah. he, they know he's one of them. For sure. Mm-hmm. So shout out to B Green. We really appreciate you having coming on and, and talking with us. Yeah, no, nah, no doubt. And then DJ J Stone, he got a lot of flavor. Boy is a, boy is a character. That boy funny, man. All right, but Energetic. he got some heat. He yeah. got some heat. He brought some stuff. He brought some stuff for him. He was him. the first person to bring a pair of 85s to the show, correct? He was. Yeah. He was the first person. And we, we, those we, were nice. we, yeah, we grabbed those and we was like, first uh, time. Right. <laughs> he's a heavy man. Right. Yeah, like, but, but, um, moving on, let's talk about some other guests. Um, I'll tell you who was a who was an interesting guest. Um, is it Lady Cream? Is it what's yeah. it? Yeah, Lady um, Cream. Jelana. 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 She came she through and she was just visiting. Yes, I got her to come. I was so excited because yeah. we did. Um, I met her through doing a sneaker battle with her on another platform, mm-hmm. and we just stayed in contact. But she, I mean, she's killing it. Like yeah. working for Nike yeah. and helping out with the sneakers app. Yeah. Obviously, right. y- if y'all go back and watch the pod, she didn't give us that much information. We tried to get as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but she's, I mean, she's. A she great did guest. let us know there was an algorithm involved. But yeah. It is is not rigged. Yeah. Yeah. She did say that. Like she still struggles getting the sneakers right. that she wants. She works for the company. She right. works for Nike. With and the she app, still like the, has, in the app area. Yeah, like, yeah. But she was a dope guest. She was dope. She was super dope. Um, 
Tasha. Tasha. I was about to say Tasha was another one. Tasha was hella great. energetic. She was probably one of the most energetic outside of uh, Jay Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they had the battle had. of the energy. No, yeah. for sure. But she's doing big. She, um, I mean, since the pod, she's had a women's sneaker retreat. Yeah, she awesome. had the the. Well, what did they just have in Houston? It was the. What um, did me and you pull up to? They had the sneaker ball. So yeah, that was and back. Steph it pulled up like to it. Hold on, let me tell dressy. them about that stuff. <laughs> so I go hang out with Steph, right? <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be just a cool little outing. We're going to support our girl <laughs> Tasha. Steph gets me full of tequila, man. I don't I, I don't even like tequila. <laughs> so I know hanging with uh, Steph now nah, I gotta get and on the you level. Drink with the ladies. <laughs> Sneakers and hangover, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, fact, but it was an amazing event. We had a great, great time. That was yes, that was cool. That Shout was out to good. Tasha. I'm glad they brought it back. Um I think it's her graceful laces. Okay. Um, her grills. Uh, and it's for a good good cause. That's awesome. Gotcha. So I think it was the first time coming back after the pandemic. Okay. Um, so we that have was, Cassidy also. That was good. Cassidy, yes. Cassidy, Cassidy was came dope. On. Cassidy, Cassidy was dope. Shout out Cassidy, man, because she listened to Screw Music. Yeah, you know she's what I'm deep saying. And she got. I seen her car outside. It got swingers on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got elbows. I, I got elbows. I would not put it Dude, past her. Cassidy Hogg in the lane. God. <laughs> God, she's killing Cassidy it Cassidy Hogg in the lane. Shout out Cassidy, man. She's great. And C&K Daily. Shout out to them. Yeah. C&K Daily. Working. We they always tap there. in. Trade I mean, block. Yes, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just created my account with Trade Block too, so I'm gonna be trying to. I just trade finally, some stuff. finally did my first trade on there. So what, oh, what really? did you do? I did the um, um, I traded my um, um in year threes. The beaters for well, I had two pair. Okay, I had two pair. <laughs> <laughs> so I um traded one the the new pair that I hadn't worn um for the Grinches. See, Grinch, yeah. Kobe's yeah, Kobe. That's Grinch. a great trade. Yeah. Oh my god, that's, a great, that's a great trade. You Damn. Guys, I, and if y'all have seen the past pods, that is the sneaker that I've been trying to get since I was in college. Wow. I've used yes. out every single time. Same here. They've dropped, and wow. when I saw that trade come up, it was instant. I got verification. I think uh, Cassidy and, and Casey. Um, they both commented on my story because I was like, I need some people to like give me some. Insight. Oh, I know I did. I said, yeah, I, I, could I did a said. poll and then I, both of them actually commented like, mm -hmm. you need to do that if you have another pair. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's done. Those Kobe's. You it can't easy. miss with those joints. Man. Ooh. Ooh. Shout you out to Trade Block. Love Trade you guys. You know another Kobe? And this is another topic that we had this year. Yeah. Uh, Kobe not continuing, um, you know, the, the Kobe Empire not continuing their, their, um, the thing with Nike, right? Yeah. That was that Tough. was kind of heartbreaking. Uh, but I was checking out the Kobe Seven Cheetah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that is an amazing shoe. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a Christmas shoe. That was too. a Christmas yeah. shoe, right? That was a Christmas shoe, and it had the the added yeah. thing to that the. A, oh that was a my Christmas god, shoe. that, that is my, yep. my favorite Christmas Kobe's too. Grinch is one, and that Cheetah was second. Oh man, hey, if if you haven't seen, just go check out the Kobe Seven Cheetah. That's that is a top notch shoe yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Um. Get back into the guests. Um, our most viewed podcast uh, this year was uh, featuring, uh, uh, I say, a Houston rap legend. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Killer Kalyon came Killer. through and, um, you know, he dropped some bars for us, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he dropped some um, unexpected sneakers. He brought out some Bo Jacksons. Yeah, all right. Uh, what else he brought out? Um, he the, had uh, the. Uh, he had on the Scarface ones. Olive Jordans. He had the Olive Jordans. I mean, the he olive had nines. The olive, yeah, the Olive Nines. He brought some stuff, and he um he told us a story that he pays a little rent at his mom house to keep his shoes. <laughs> right. That's right. I forgot he said that. <laughs> He's throwing a little cash, I mean, throwing a little cash at his mom sneakers. dudes. So he he said he got sneakers everywhere. Um. So yeah, man, that was that was a great podcast. Um. All his fans definitely yeah. tapped in. Um, we I, had Les come on. Oh man, Les Shout was fantastic. Les, Les yeah. came in when our wall was naked too. Yeah, yeah, it was he nothing did. Back we, here. Yeah, we it just was had there. the sneakers. So he we got to tap just, back in with Les. I'm sure he 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 been reading up. I seen him on an ad. Yeah. Um, what was the ad for? He was um uh, the dunks. Yeah. Him the, and uh, um, the the five. Yeah, the I got five on the I dunks. Got five on he the, did a, he did an ad. Um, and that was dope. Him, Bun B, 
Mm-hmm. Um, someone else, I forgot, but that was a dope ad. But yeah, shout out Les for sure. Now, one of the best parts that we had, the audio got messed up. Uh, reading with a rapper. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, shout yeah. out Jaren and Doug. Jaren That's and probably Doug. one of my favorites um, because the, the meaning behind everything that they were doing yeah. and seeing them from just from that pod yeah. to now, they've like oh t- my took God. it to another level. On a whole like nother level. That fast. Like yeah. right. those brothers are moving so fast. Their whole team is fantastic, yeah. by the way. But yeah, the audio got messed up. We're going we to get them back on. It yeah, was, we have to. It was a huge event for them yeah. that that they allowed us to to join in and sure. just we gained a, I gained a lot of knowledge on what they actually do yeah. yeah um very you know for the kids and just a, a really dope movement that they have going on um I'm ready for that uh commercial to drop that they're they're making yeah. I'm just mm-hmm. ready I know. to see how I've that goes that. I know I've seen that so they showed us their Nike collab Ooh. yeah the Nike collab was sick yeah super sick the pollen one Nike collab pollen they ones did. they were hard they were hard for sure yeah um, that's reading with the rapper y'all should tap in with their definitely Instagram. tap in with them they got a lot going on those guys are fantastic that whole team um who else who else we missing some people huh uh, David, let's talk about, tap into David. So David came to the Reading with a Rapper event. Yeah. And we had interaction with the crowd. And David yells, they wasn't saying that five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. I said, hold on, somebody, he, what, yeah, what that brother sure said? Right there? <laughs> he sure did. Who, who was he was, he he was way in the known. back. He was way in the back. I said, man, who is that? But it was David. And after that, I was like, yo, let's let's figure out what he's talking about. David came on and he had some of the absolute best stories. Oh, yeah. Uh, this brother been doing it behind the scenes in Houston for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and in big, big circles, you know, he's been in some high places talking sneakers with some people. Oh, so, for sure, yeah. for sure. So shout out David for sure. Uh, who else? Y'all tap in with somebody else? Squala. Oh, Squala was great. Yeah, was Squala was great. Squala was great. Um. Who else? Who else do we have? Oh, um, my guy who came through with the crawfish joints. Um, yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. OG Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor. Trevor had That's some bad, dope, man. dope kicks. He had some dope kicks. And then them uh, disintegrated fives. Oh, yeah, he he kept his fives that his mom uh, went and took him to get, yeah. right? Yeah. That was a great story. And the funny thing is, I was on his IG the other day, and... Mm-hmm. Um, he had wore a brand new pair of those fives. Oh yeah, the black tongue fives, and I had to let him know like people don't know the difference between a black tongue and a, and a reflective tongue. Okay, I said that's dope. <laughs> nah, Trevor, Trevor was a great guest. Um, who else we? Have? I feel like we missing somebody. We, we all had, missing somebody. Let's see. Hmm. We had a lot of dope guests, man. We did. We did. Yeah. We did. I um, enjoyed that. Who else was a dope guest? I'm, I think I feel like we missing somebody major here. We'll, oh, get, we we, we'll get back to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tap back in. If y'all, if y'all remember a guest that we had that we're not mentioning, please let us know. Um, oh, KC. Even though okay. KC is KC, all over. KC is a uh, resident. Uh, he's he's a resident KC guest. Just, like, <laughs> KC he, came he through. He tapped in with us. KC is KC. all over our page all the time. He, we love it. KC, yeah, he, yeah. he's a part of the team. Yeah, he is, honestly, he is, he's a part of the team. Is, KC, KC gets us off our ass. Nah, you know what right. I'm <laughs> he really does. Nah, for Shout sure, man. Shout out KC and, and his beautiful fiance. Yes, um, they they be doing their thing. One thing we haven't been able to tap in because we, you know, we we uh haven't been recording. We've been waiting for this last episode, but yeah. uh the passing of a Virgil. Yeah. Um, Virgil did something r- really big this year with Nike and those 50 dunk. Yeah. Mm. And made it almost accessible to everybody who wanted a pair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody I know ended up hitting on a pair, mm-hmm. um, which was huge. All different colors, different, you know, styles, leather, suede, whatever, whatever flavor you wanted. Mm-hmm. He put it out there for everybody to get. Um and his untimely passing, which came out of nowhere, which was yeah. a big shock. Um it's gonna leave a void in Nike. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's gonna leave a void a few places. Yeah. A few places. Yeah. 
But he did a lot for the game, and you know how we used to say his sneakers weren't sneakers. His sneakers were art. Yeah. Yeah. He left us with a lot of art. I can say that. Yeah, for sure. Um, Steph, you want to I mean, talk about him? It's tough. I yeah. I just feel like he set things up because he knew, you know, obviously he knew what he had going on right, personally. For sure. um, and he made sure he left a mark on the younger generation Thanks. and showing them that you can do it the way you want to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, we have like different designers and, you know, artists and everything like that through music and mm -hmm. sports and everything like that. But he really did it his way and built his brand and talked about, you know, transforming everything around as far as like not just the sneaker, but how you set it up, where you yeah. put it. Who's wearing it? Like he he transcended a lot of different areas. It, sure. and not just fashion. It was just like he his mind was very different, oh. and um, I think it it affected a lot of people. Um, and and I'm kind of curious to see how how things play out. I think there's not many people that are that are like him right now. No, I, no. I don't know anybody that can touch that many brands at once. And make them all look different. Yeah. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, thanks. Like he had his hand in Louis, had his hand in Off White, had his hand in Nike, yeah. had his hand in Pyrex, had his hand in so many different ventures, and yeah. they all looked different. Yeah. Um, all I can say is I, I was able to purchase a bunch of his stuff. Yeah. Right. For um, sure. <laughs> So I know it's something that's going to live on through my feet, at least. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, facts. Um, and some of my favorite sneakers, I want to say one of my two favorite sneakers in my collection now are the uh, Off-White Jordan 5s. Mm -hmm. Of course, like, yeah, for I sure. feel like those are some of the, he changed his whole shoe up, mm -hmm. took the padding out, different textures, different looks. I, I, yeah. It's probably my favorite shoe in my collection now. Yeah. No, nah, facts. Um, as far as for me, as I sat here and listened to you guys, and I was listening to Bowler say that um, he dropped the off white uh, dunks, right? The 50, 50 different pair, mm -hmm. 50 different flavors, uh, colors crazy. Uh, the overland shoe strings. Um, he he wanted people to go crazy with their creativity. Um, speaking of another great guest. Kareem. Kareem. Kareem yes. came Kareem. through. Kareem. He had some traction with his dunk that he created. Uh, but I'm listening to Bola say that and instantly it hit me. That was his gift to us oh, before sure. he left. Uh, which was which is crazy that it just hit me like that. But uh he left us with a gift, man. That's why I think that it was accessible to everyone. Because his his usually his shoes are very hard to get, right? Mm -hmm. You have to catch them on the resale market. But these shoes were accessible to everyone. Everyone got a chance to get their hands on a pair um, of the shoe. And I, I just think that that was one of his gifts before he went away, man. And it's. And then him just being a, a black man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's not an athlete, mm -hmm. yeah. not a rapper, mm -hmm. like doing what he did. It gave another, another, I don't want to say look, but just somebody else for the younger generation mm -hmm. to look at like, okay, right. this is his story. And I'm so glad he was, he was able, like people know his story. Now. Right. Um, and just to see like, if this is what you want to do, you can still be you and do it. You do it the way you want to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can be true to your culture. Oh, Cause he sure. was very true to his culture um, and giving back to the community. Off white changes the game. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh it, yeah. it I mean off white went crazy. Um fashion wise I have on a shirt right now. Um but I mean it just changed the whole game. Um I don't even remember what people was wearing before off white hit. You were in Pyrex. You had the Pyrex from him. Yeah. True. And then off white just blew up. Off white went crazy. And then once he once he did the sneaker thing um, I ten. mean, it was over. He did yeah, the, the 10, ten first. The ten, it was over. When he did the ten, the ten like changed the game. Nah, for sure. Everything. Like, he even did. if you knew off white before, you weren't really wearing off white sneakers. You know, yeah. from the brand. Yeah. I know I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So once they put that that 
the uh, zip tie on a pair of Nikes. Yeah. The world went crazy. Yeah. Nah, facts. Sure did. A lot of people didn't like it, saying, yeah. oh, why do you have a zip tie? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, I got yeah. the yeah. masses knew. It allows people you, to start. Right. When you had that zip tie on, you know what it is. <laughs> I seen yep. a brother put a zip tie on. <laughs> Come on now. Don't, don't do that. I just, brother put a zip tie on a pair of Crocs, man. I mean, <laughs> don't just you can't just be disrespecting the man zip tie, man. You can't throw the zip tie on no. anything and say no, that it's off can't. white. Can't throw it on a pair of gangster Nikes and say this is off white. No, like you can accessorize that, it, but yeah, you can't leave do that, that zip tie alone, man. Um, speaking of Virgil. We had an event by a good friend, uh, my good friend from college, yeah. uh, Muffy, um, out of Chicago, out who, who's always blessing us with with different yeah. things. Shout out Muffy! What yeah, Muffy? we um, we he is uh friends with Virgil. Um, mm -hmm. they were running in the same circles at one point in time, and Virgil actually sent him a pair of Chucks signed. Uh, we had a raffle for it, and Miss Steph. One thing. I sure did. What <laughs> are you? I'm not. I'm still not going to comment on that. <laughs> Stephanie won the off white sucks. Fair and square. Signed guys. by Virgil himself. Like Steph, I said, what you going to do with that? I am shoes? not going to comment <laughs> on how Steph won. <laughs> but hey, no, I don't even know what to do. I feel like I have to put them with my Kobe's, like the last pair of Kobe's that I bought. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I haven't worn them. Those are uh, collectors, just, a grail piece. They now, gotta. Man. I have to like do something with them. Yeah. In a case somewhere, something, like yeah. I mean, that's nobody's ever gonna get another signature. Like, nah, for sure, oh, man. You know, you you don't know what to do with them. I would always say, uh, my door is open. Uh, <laughs> Phil, you are not getting my My sneakers. door is always open if you need a place yeah, if to park the place, shoes. I'm just so glad I didn't little. wear them because I thought about it. I was like, well, let me just, you know, they're chucks. See, I, yeah. I get them dirty think, a little bit. I don't ever think I would ever wear something that's signed by somebody. Yeah. Mm. It's it's like once it's signed, it's like, yeah. you have is to it weird it. to like yeah. wear it? Yeah. Yeah, Even I never it, wore it. I, I didn't wear it. Yeah, like. So it. I was just like, eh, no point. Mm hmm. But now I got it now for real, for real. Nah, don't never wear them. Wear them. Don't like don't they're, don't they're, they're And those shooks are actually one of my favorite shoes too. I love yeah. throwing those shooks on. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, man, it was a, a unfortunate uh, thing with Virgil, man. Um, let us know some of y'all favorite off-white sneakers that y'all rock. Um, that y'all are wearing. Uh, what what has the prices looked like on his sneakers since this? Uh, uh, when when stuff like that happens, I don't start. I don't look. You don't yeah. look. Okay. Like the same thing with the Kobe Kobe yeah. situation. Like I just I just know there's gonna be some ridiculous. Yeah, rid like mm -hmm. to me th 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 it, that's nasty nasty work. Yeah, yeah. it is. So I, is. I try to stay away from that stuff. Like yeah. like at this point, like I don't think I would ever sell a pair of my off whites. Yeah, me either. Just like I would yeah, never. Sell, I never would sell a pair of Kobe's. Period. But mm. I don't think I would ever sell a pair of off whites. It's I don't think you would ever sell anything, brother. You have one of the best collections in the, the city, and you don't. See, you you not gonna sell nothing. I don't sell. Are you gonna <laughs> trade? Would you trade? I've actually traded with KC. KC's yeah. probably the only person I've ever traded yeah, anything obviously. with. KC, would you trade with him? You know, you remember? Uh, fear of God is a pair of fear of gods oh. and a pair of the blue, the c clay blue ones. Oh, okay. And for the off white fives. Hmm. Dang. The sale pair. Do you have wait, who has the uh the the Instagram stream going? You have it on your phone? Yeah. Uh, it's up there. Oh, let me see. Let's see what the comments is looking like. Um next topic. Um what um what are you guys looking for for two thousand twenty two as far as sneakers go? Twenty <sighs> two, obviously. One thing that Nike that I've seen Nike is going to be doing is bringing back classic basketball shoes. Mm. So like the pennies are dropping. So? Oh, oh man, yeah, I can't right. wait for the pennies. They dropping pennies, they dropping um some some up tempos. Okay. Uh they're just dropping a bunch of the classics and, you know, remastering them. So that's what I'm looking forward to and then like Jordan going back to the high 85s. So mm -hmm. just seeing a high 85 silhouette hopefully is not the super rare amount that he did for the okay. white and grays yeah. and the the red and blacks but 
hopefully he gives enough to where it's like, okay, everybody can can share in this. Facts, mm-hmm. facts. What about you? And stuff? then New Balance. I want to see what New Balance has. Oh, yeah, I'm. Mm-hmm. Hey, completely let's, looking uh, forward. Yeah, let's talk about probably one of the top brands. Yeah, let, let's of, talk about New Balance. Yeah. Let's put a pause on 2022 real quick. Uh, New Balance brand. We, we, so, our end of year 2020 pod. Yes. Yeah. New Balance was the sneaker brand of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For us, right? Yep. 2021, New Balance might be the sneaker brand of the year again. again. Yeah. Right. By far. Hey. They did. They're 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 definitely top two. I'll say collab wise, Whitner he changed the game. Yeah, yeah, he did. But New Balance as a company, they had so many people contribute <laughs> to what they're trying so to do moving many. forward. I mean, hey. the silhouettes that they put out mm-hmm. were different. Right. That the collabs right. because it wasn't just like your brand, like you know, top people right. or like you know what I mean. They didn't go get your Kanyes. Yeah, they didn't go it get was your- like like people that had a a movement behind them. Right. And then they went, I mean, they collabed, I think, didn't they collab with Levi? Yeah. They yeah. collabed with, there was somebody else. I mean, they had so many collabs across a, a lot of different streams. Mm-hmm. And um, normally you just see maybe people in fashion, mm-hmm. uh, an athlete, athlete, an artist or something, maybe. They had, uh, but they had people, so many. They brought people that I probably would never know about. Yeah. Because that's not the type of circle I run with yep. Yep. the stuff I'm into. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it, it really opened my eyes to to these new artists, the like these collab the yeah. the, the collaborators that they had. It, it was it was dope. Like New Balance, New Balance has to be sneaker brand of the year. And for and for all of my new sneaker heads that's coming into the game, y'all think only Joy and Ones or hard to yeah. get, try to get a pair of new balance. Try it. Right. Try it. Try. I, I promise <laughs> you, you will you will you will look at sneakers a little bit different. Um these new balances are hard to get yeah. seriously. And right. that's like almost all of their all of silhouettes. There, what is the? I forgot what number it is. Nine, the nine, classic. Two? Yeah, I think the the gray. Yeah, just the classic yeah. gray. That every time they drop it, it it's sold it, out. And it's like a two hundred dollars sneaker. It's not for the faint yeah. of heart either. It's a two hundred dollars sneaker. And then they have the American version. They yeah. have the European version. So it's like you got to figure out which version you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the quality of New Balance New Balance sneakers is a one. You won't get yeah. any cheap leather. Uh, you won't get any. Any um, what's that other type of leather they use for Jordans? <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at our guy. He pulling up his new balance. Oh, John Those got new, the new balance. Yeah, new balance. <laughs> yeah, sneaker brand of the year. Well, my guy. We got a few people. A few people saying Nike, but you can't just say Nike. You got to break it Nike, down because what? you got Jordan. You yeah. got what Travis? Yeah, yeah. I got, think I think Nike. The reason I can't say Nike is like. It's like Amazon. Mm-hmm. So they're ahead of the game, right? But I respect the not New Balance, not a little brand, but yeah. I respect the smaller brands that can compete. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely compete. Yeah. It's kind of like that Jay Z and Lil Wayne combo, right? Yeah. So somebody's 1A, somebody's 1B. Mm-hmm. It depends on what night and what what album they give you to, yeah. to, okay. to listen to. I don't agree, but okay. I just feel like New Balance came in the ring with Nike mm-hmm. and held its own. Yeah, Definitely. that's For big sure. enough. Hey, with man. all of them. Yeah. Literally. With Go all tap into New Balance. Check out what they had all this year, all their collabs. And you tell me that those sneakers the noise, are fire. What was it? The, the, the noise uh Pack. Which ones? Oh yeah, those, those. That noise pack. Yep. Yeah. That gray, the gray one. Oh my gosh. Like they, I they mean, had some all heat. of them are. Ridiculous. They just dropped some some brown joints. Um, I can't yes. remember. They're like a wood brown. Yeah. I mean, I'm I just forgot. crazy. They dropped, they dropped the. They dropped they like a Lakers color too, like the purple. Ooh, yeah. They but I think the too. best part is that they they really give designers flexibility um, flexibility yeah like do what you want get your silhouette w- silhouette and design it how you want to design it and and give it the colors you want to want to give it um and change it up yeah. i think and they give a lot of options as to um 
so, the fabrics that you use and everything else. So, so, so Fola says Nike had the best year all around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But New Balance had the best collabs. Okay. 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 Mo, uh, hey, Mo, shout out, shout out. Mo, Mo. You say, know say, what? Mo, we got to get you on Mo, the show. Thank Mo, you. Mo, you Please. too dope. I come in on your on page today. You are too dope. My sister even texted me and was like, yo, y'all got to have her on the show. I'm like, I hollered at Mo at the event. Yeah. Stephanie got me drunk at. Uh, <laughs> Mo, we got to get you, you on. You dope. Come on, girl. Uh, KC oh, says up. Nike dunks went insane this year. People were spending their stimulus for $400 <laughs> shoes, which they is correct. They were spending their stimulus on yeah. everything. But, but KC, like the dunk was so oversaturated at a point to yeah. where it's like even on the, the Nike app how many times a week is a dunk dropping yeah, yeah. like and I know what Nike's doing releasing it's just, it's just yeah. to me it's just too much yeah I, I know I feel Dunks like they cool. just want the dunk to kind of be what the Yeezys are right now the 350 they said the, the sound cut they out uh oh they want everybody the in sound cut out on what on which one can which y'all one? hear us which one cut out was it YouTube or IG? Instagram. Uh-oh. Might have been on Instagram. We're good. Yeah. We're. Yeah, oh, it's back. It's back. Thank okay, you. Okay. 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 Uh, so, yeah. Um, KC with the dunks. Ah. Uh, nah. Like, man. I like the dunks, but I, I just feel too. like it just. Classic too, colorway dunks. It was just yeah. too many for my liking. Like, it was just way too many dunks. Steph came through with the black and white dunks. I was like, man. Panda a- Bears. Such I needed a, them. Such a classic color. A classic. And I I'm literally about, wear them. It looks so dope on her foot. I was like, Geez. I need another pair. I really, Ooh. honestly. John, stop I, touching I, shit. I've been, <laughs> <laughs> I've really just been wanting dunks. Like, yeah. the low tops, really. Now, I can wear them everywhere. No, nah, for sure. Um, what else? I, we just tapped in Travis Scott, man. How could we forget? Travis. Oh, Travis. Uh, Travis, we love you, man. Yeah, uh, we're, I'm we, still we, supporting Travis. Yeah, we, we, we love you, bro. Um, oh, Bailey, was, Bailey's on. Hi, Bailey. Uh, hey, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Hey, girl. Um, man, we really, uh, we really support you, Travis. Um, but yeah. um, Travis went through some. Let's let's talk about early in the year first. Um, did Travis drop anything of any significance this year? I personally didn't like anything Travis dropped besides mm-hmm. the high top ones, the low top ones. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the mm-hmm. high top ones. Yes, I was looking forward to the Air Max. the 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 yellow was the gold. gold yeah, the yeah. gold all gold mm-hmm. joint. Yeah, Even I that those. was like I wasn't. I was looking forward to that. I can't lie, that we we can't sleep on that 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 uh that Jordan one, that lower that that lower yeah. that high top. The high top was nasty. Yeah, that 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 shoe. I just didn't like the color blocking on the lows. That's just me. That shoe yeah. was that's top tier shoe. I can't lie, I, I I almost forgot about that shoe. Yeah. But um, man, Travis uh had the Jordan ones that came out this year. Um, hard to get your hands on those, but they yeah. both were dope. Uh, they dropped this summertime. Um, and then we had the Astro Royal Fest, which we have every year around what, October, I'll say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, October, yeah. November, November, beginning yeah. of November. And some Festival unfortunate time. stuff happened, right? Yeah. And um, Travis has lost brand deals. Yeah, then um, everybody's dropping them. Everybody's dropping them. Today, Dior pushed yep. back, saying definitely they're not. So he's not getting that dropped. Uh, um, I mean, he's lost. Seltzers. Seltzers, Seltzers are gone. Are gone. Um, um, nope. They don't want him performing at, uh, what's the event? Coachella. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate. Other- like it, It's just yeah, an unfortunate man. situation with Travis. And, um, you know, our, our condolences for everybody that lost life and everybody who got for injured. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, it's more than sneakers and performing at this point. Like, yeah. Um, we know he had a big, huge following when it comes to the f- to fashion. Yeah. Um, Travis was on the trajectory with Kanye to me. Yeah, about definitely. moving the needle with like fashion. Oh, he was. Um, don't know if he dresses himself, but I know people were trying to dress just like him. Right. Yeah. Um, he was changing the game. Yeah, he was changing was. the game, and it's unfortunate what happened. And hopefully, he can bounce back from this, and hopefully, we get more collabs. Hopefully, he gets all his endorsements back. Yeah, yeah. We, know, we never want to see a brother go down like that. It's nah, tough for sure. It's it's a tough situation. We we definitely here at Laced Up is rooting for Travis. Um, he's in a very tough spot because yeah. lives were lost. You know what I mean? That's a big big deal. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just wish I, I don't know. I feel like I, I understand lives were lost, but this isn't the first time lives right. were lost at a festival. Right. Yeah. Um, I just kind of wish somebody would stick with them yeah through sure. all of this i i understand like the branding side of things and like okay we don't want to be attached but i mean technically they're, they're, he didn't have but a, they he are, didn't have a part in it in my eyes they are m- <clears throat> more they are trying to disassociate themselves with travis by calling it you know, just being sensitive to the families of people who lost their lives. Yeah. And I think that's a bunch of BS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they're distancing themselves from Travis because they don't want to be associated with what happened. Yeah. Not because they're being sensitive to yeah. the situation. Right. It's but about them. It's I not d- really yeah. about the family. So if I'm Travis, I'm putting all that in my memory bank and yeah. knowing yeah, who sure. I'm messing with as soon as I'm back up. It's going to take some time. Yeah, yeah he'll it's going to take some sure. time because people, he still has his fan base. Oh, yeah, for sure. People still love him. So it's going to happen. And he just did happens. something for the city. Yeah, uh, yeah he did. a couple he days ago. Yeah. Yeah. A toy drive. Yeah. Yep. There. yep. Um, so we'll see. We'll see who uh, who's with them whenever he pops back up. Right. It's going to um, take some time, though. Right. What are before we get out of here? What are some of your favorite shoes that you wore on the podcast this year? Give me, oh. give me, give me your top five shoes oh my gosh. that you wore on the podcast this year. I don't even know what I, I got. Wore. Five on it. Okay, dunks. Yep. Um, you know, my memory easy is easy. Foam runners, of course. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with. What else did I wear this year? Fear of God. Since we're never gonna get a Fear of God Nike again. Mm. Yeah, um, you definitely had those. Right. We're going to go with the patent leather mid Jordan ones. Okay. That was dope. And then I'll say what other? What other? I might go with my metallic Jordan 1 lows. Oh yeah, hey Bola, I ain't gonna lie to you. You had some heat this year, you and Bentley. I hate that Bentley's not here to join in I on the know, conversation. I know, yeah, Bentley pulled up because Bentley has a whole different perspective from us, and uh, he he has some dope dope sneakers. Yeah. If y'all shout out to Ruby also, she came on and, and blessed Ruby. It. Ruby, hey, hey Ruby, Ruby had I'm on a pair of fourteens. Uh, the uh, last shot fourteens was so crispy. Yeah. She said she had them for Live. like uh, seven, eight years. Uh, like, no, since they re- first came, I don't know what she said, mm-hmm. but they was just so crispy. I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. But um, my top five um, this year would be uh, um, during the summer, I had this thing where I was going with, with Air Forces. So uh, I wore uh, some cactus, uh, <laughs> cactus plant. I was trying to save money. <laughs> cactus plant, uh, flea market, cactus. Somebody correct me. Is it cactus plant, flea market, or C-P. it's market now? Yeah, it's just market. It's just now. market. Now nah, that's China. That's oh, that's China. Yeah, that's all, you're so, right, you're right, so you're this right. is cactus, cactus plant, plant, flea, flea market. market. Yeah. So they had a collab with um, Air Force One. Uh, on the side of it, it says flea on one side. I forgot what the other side say, but that's that's one of my, my one of my favorite kicks. Um, this shoe I have on now. Washington Let me tell y'all say about this shoe, man. I still got the other ones for Watch you. The, I knew you was gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say that. These LeBron now watch the thrones. See now you're gonna make me pull. I'm, yeah, you're not getting them no more. <laughs> hey, look. I'm sorry, you're not getting them. These no more. LeBron now watch the thrones were so he he wore them when they first came out, and everybody was like, "Oh my god!" Because at that time, Jay Z and Kanye had dropped the album, yeah. "Watch the Throne," so it was a big deal. And um, I think he dropped this a year after. It was. Yeah, it was like a year after okay. the album dropped. Okay, and. I was like, man, if they ever release those shoes, I'm going to get them. And they released them. And He's I, already wore a Christmas Day. Yeah, I seen them. He them. had the all gold wash the throne. I seen that. All gold wash the throne. I seen that. Just, they're just so big. They look yeah, nice, though. Nah, they, these are, these, this little thing right here sets it out in the shoes, the shoelaces. <laughs> the shoes? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, that that's two. Um, then I'll go... Um, 
I'll go uh, Foam Runner. I mean that that shoe's so comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I mean you can just throw that on with anyone. I, I think I think runner. Bentley wore the craziest, the, the, one of the dopest outfits I seen. My bro had on like a Calabasas. Oh, the uh, Calabasas joint with the Calabasas. Yeah, oh, Bentley, I remember Bentley showed off with that joint. I had to ask him. You trying to shit on me? <laughs> <laughs> Bentley showed off with that one. Um, uh, so the Foam Runner. Um, what other shoe did I wear? Um, hmm. Oh, the Kentucky. Tucky Dunk Low Top. Mm-hmm. Um, if you if you check the price on them joints, them joints is crazy. It's like six hundred bucks for those little shoes. Stimulus check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, thanks. <laughs> and then uh, if I had one last shoe, it probably be, would be. Um, I didn't wear these on the show, but uh, it would probably be my Yeezy Four Fifties All Black. Yeah. I love those. I love those Four Fifties, and I like the Three Eighties too, man. <laughs> I like the three eighties too. You don't like three eighties, but I got the first pair of three eighties. I love that shoe. What you got still? Ah, uh, I mean the the panda dunks were like my Those faves. Mm-hmm. Um, Joe Fresh Good, New oh, Balance, man. and the ch- and the Chucks. Oh, Joe Fresh Good! I forgot. Shout about out, Muff. Oh, so um, that was one of yeah, my top. Yeah, Joe, I had six. Were, I had six. Yeah, Joe, Joe, <laughs> Joe, Joe, shout out because that them joints is dope. Those Chucks are still some of my favorites to wear. Um, when I was all in year threes, mm-hmm. um, just because like I was excited to actually get a pair, yeah. and put them on foot. Um, uh, what else? What else? You've been having some heat. You came on with some Pierre Moss joints the other day. That, I did I mean, have the Pierre Moss. Yeah, them joints is fire. And I got a pair. I actually got a pair of his sneakers um, under his brand okay. for mm-hmm. Christmas. And oh, okay. I was really excited the red joints that, that you? The red yeah. and black. Yeah. Oh, I'm really, I tried nice. to put together a fit today for the sneakers, but I couldn't get it together. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wear it another time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those Pierre Moss, I've been, I've been trying to get Pierre Moss and Reebok um, that collab for a while. And mm-hmm. I finally got my hands on it. I think it was just by default, like something glitched. And I think I was late enough to get in when it first, <laughs> when it got back online right. mm-hmm. and God is good. There, right. No, facts. Right. God, God is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be my fifth one. The Pierre Moss. Cool. Cool. So, Man, we want to shout out everybody that came through this yes. year, man. We truly enjoyed you guys. Thank you to all our subscribers, everybody that's tuned yes. in now that came to the live events, um, that support us, uh, send us their shoes. Hey, shout sneakers. out to Q. Q said Phil don't know what he like. <laughs> 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 Dang, don't call him out like that. <laughs> nah, I know, I do be all over the place. But uh man, just shout out big up everybody, man. Um we we so much appreciate you guys. Well, we're gonna try and get as many people on the show as we can. We are, we I are. know it's hard. We couldn't even do our whole the whole uh big extravaganza that we wanted to do just yeah. due to COVID. Yeah, for sure. Um so we want to ring it in, do a little something smaller. But next year, hopefully everybody's vaxxed and, and <laughs> we out there, but we'll be able to, you know, do something bigger and, and next year we're gonna try and have as many guests as we can. Yeah. Um so you don't have to DM us. We know you guys. Okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> we know you. For real. Up. But we'll, we're going to see what we can do. And shout out to all the women that oh, have tapped man. in with us. Oh, I for mean, sure. You guys have really women supported us and, and supported me um, being mm-hmm. one of four or three guys. Yeah. And um, I really appreciate it. Uh, just getting that support. And whenever, you know, y'all talk about the pod and, and actually watch and have input, mm-hmm. I really appreciate it. It makes yeah. me feel good because I know. So the ladies are watching yeah, and sure. they always tap in and have something to say yeah. um, and want us to talk about and always, you know, embrace the guys coming with me to all the events and yeah. stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to bringing a lot more women onto the pod in sure. 2022. Yep, um, sure. There's just so many out here um, that we still have to tap into. Mo, Mo, you gonna be first. Oh my if, if God! You, yes. If you if you around, if you still on, you definitely gonna be first. So I'm just trying to get into one of her photos. <laughs> right, like, like the pose Man. is like perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, 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 she. I don't she, know what kind of camera. Cold. That ain't an iPhone. Like, yeah. Right, like what camera? She Bring cold. your camera she too. She is cold, man. Um, so we will be taking a little break in January. Uh, we will be back. Let's just say around All Star break. Yeah. yeah. Let's just say Most around All Star break. 
We're going to do it bigger, better than than you guys ever seen yes. it. We'll be rolling into our third year. Which is nuts. That's this wild. is crazy. Um, episode 50, we're going to have to do something a little right. big for episode yeah, 50. We're going gonna to do it big. We're going to do it big. We're going to actually have a live event. Hopefully, if everything is... You know, going around, we're going to do a couple live events next year for sure, just so we can interact with the people because we don't want to just be sitting up here talking. I know right. there's plenty of things that. And y'all got some heat out there. Yeah, y'all got yeah. super heat. And we know that a lot of people have a lot of things on their mind that we might not even think right. of. So yeah. we want to we wanna tap into those convos, right? For and sure. um, definitely the ladies. I mean, y'all Love took bonus. over. <laughs> y'all took over 2021. Yes. I don't see it stopping in Killed 2022. It. We just here now, right? Right, right, We're right, taking right. over. We're taking over, ladies. And nah, uh, uh, Jay Jones. Life, though, we are really Jay Jones, over. you cannot show off your K-Swiss on here? Nah, we don't do K-Swiss, what? pal. Uh, <laughs> look here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> look here, pal. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what else did I want to say before we... <laughs> you the way it's still right, choke on Y'all know I hate K-Swiss. <laughs> Um, oh, so so what else did I want to say? Um, big and better things 2022 laced up HTX man. We appreciate you guys. Bentley, Bentley put the glizzy down and tap the in down, the popcorn. <laughs> Mama Bentley, I, I hope you're enjoying yourself at the yes. Lakers game. I hope LeBron have 40 plus man and a dub and a dub. The Rockets, I, about of to course, be the he wants it. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> Shout but, out to my um, Rockets. Now, nah, facts. Uh, man, thank you again. Uh, XTX Laced Up. We, we out. out. Yee.